pick off the litter, caretaker's ally, and one, two, three guys. We got all the freaking champion, free champion augments, right? Uh, this is probably the worst one. Ooh, I'm down for that one. Shall we choose, my friends? I don't think it can be bad, right? Can it be bad? Fine vintage. Fine vintage right here. I mean, shall we choose, my friends, guys? Can't be bad. Let me tell you, can't be bad. Okay, I think we're playing Kogma reroll, guys, with fine vintage. Kogma reroll with five vin with fine vintage. We're gonna buff up our Kogma as much as we can. It's gonna be really powerful. Sounds goofy. It's gonna work. It's gonna work, guys. Probably should have sold Caitlyn. Don't think I'll three star her. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Like, is someone contesting Kogma? I'm just checking the trades. Don't think so. Doesn't really look like it. This guy is playing. Ah, nah. We should be fine. Should be fine, guys. We're on Crab Rave, by the way. Crab Rave? Gonna go crazy. We just three star Kogma and Chugath, the classic. Oh, please be one cost. Otherwise, I have to pivot, right? Uh, I have to pivot, which is very, very upsetting. I guess then it's fine vintage Kale reroll, right? Mm. It's really bad. Ah, cringe, guys. We gotta pivot. Uh, what is this for? Okay, I'll just go for full econ then. Okay, our new comp is hmm, annoying. Let's just pray that we get a thing. <laughs> Let's just pray that we get a Story Weaver emblem. If we get one, we'll be fine. We'll be in a good spot. We're gonna go reroll Zoe. And we need a Story Weaver emblem. We need it very badly, as well. What am I missing? What the frick am I missing here? Right? Oh yeah, yeah, the, 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 that's why I need the emblem, right? So level seven, we want to play something like this. Level eight, we want to add her. And there we go, that's our team, and we're pretty happy with this team. We're pretty freaking happy with this team. Uh, or we could just play, um, hmm. Burdens of the past. <sighs> yeah, I mean, this is good. I think it's just blue kale, right? Blue kale? Blue kale? Right? The Chinese blue kale? With fine vintage to give her a bunch of uh, stats, right? And then we go Zoe Carey. The question is, do I already find Vintage it up? I think I do, right? Zoe is gonna be our carry. She wants Shoujin and the Rabadons, but... You know? It is what it is. Wow. I don't think we find Vintage it up yet. Why well, didn't put I really up for 7 story? Because I don't think I'll find I really. I can put it. Obviously, that would be the, the goal, right? But I, I think if I don't get a Story Weaver emblem this game, I just lose the game. But I did get a Zoe right now, which is pretty good. So we go 3-star Zoe, 3-star Soraka, 3-star Ilawi, level 8, Story Weaver emblem. If we don't get Story Weaver emblem, we're going dead last. Like a bad wish, guys. But we could also, instead of re-rolling, we could just go um, not to Zoe carry and just go fast 9. But the thing is, I'm in a really bad position, right? So I don't think I can go fast 9, guys. I am very um, low HP. I am pretty rich, though, so maybe, right? With Skull, with skull Puddle. Well, it's not Skull Puddle, it's the other thing. Maybe, maybe, guys. The thing is, I don't really... Like, I have perfect items for Zoe. Shoujin and Nashers too. Trojan Nashers 2, Rabadons. There's not, not like it's just so such good Zoe items. So I feel like I wanna do that. 
feel like I want to do that. I want to reroll the Zoe here. Zoe, Lowey, 3 star. We just need to pray for a Story Weaver emblem. If we get the next Augment Story Weaver emblem, we're back. Isn't Static Shift good on Zoe anymore? No, because I'm stupid. So I kept saying Zoe is good with Static Shift. We always take the blue talisman here. I kept saying she's good with uh, things, but kills increase the number of ricochets, not assists. So the assists from Static Shift do not increase the number of ricochets. So it's not actually... It's, it's not bad, it's just not needed. Let's go this, yeah. Shoujin, Nashor's too. I mean, I don't know, bro. Like, I feel like Zoe can pop off with this with this build. But we do need... So sorry, Ramble. It's just so hard to get Irelia, man. Okay. Ah, it's just so hard to get Irelia. And I definitely want to buff up the Kale. That's the whole point, right? You go triple Aegis, you buff up the Kale with a bunch of attack speed and resistances, and then you can play the Chinese version of this comp again, where you frontline the Kale, so she gets Omnivamp from Sage, and she gets a bunch of resistances and attack speed from Aegis, so she's just gonna kill everything with her burst ult, right? It's really good. We win this fight, but that's okay. That's perfectly fine. This world needs there we go. I'm just gonna level here. I'm just gonna play my dudes. I'm keeping her, but I shouldn't keep that many of her. Okay. Nasher's tooth. And we're gonna get a lot of items from uh, Crab Rafe. So this uh, fine vintage is always good, right? On this uh, on this portal. Because you get, uh, you get a lot more support items than intended, right? You know, these augments are balanced around the standard game of TFT. And this is not a standard game. This is... Crab raid, get a bunch of money and items, so should be pretty good, honestly. And the reroll comp should be okay. A reroll comp should be okay on this. Okay, I, guys, I, I'm just gonna commit, man. I'm just going to commit, guys. Freak this game. Boom. You're done now. We're not gonna go for Sunfire. Freak that trash. We're gonna make a support item. We get some Aegis action, and we're back. This should be fun. Hopefully, it's gonna work. Hopefully, it's gonna work well. Uh, we're not gonna level yet. Um, I should have leveled. I'm gonna pre-level. I should have absolutely leveled, bro. I'm not sure why I didn't level. Stupid. Um, and then, yeah, we can go level 7 and roll for Zoe 2. And we're gonna have a strong Zoe. Isn't Zoe without Arcanist pretty bad? Nah. It's a decent dual carry with uh, this story and everything. Okay, it's okay. It's not one of the best comps, but it is what it is, right? With fine vintage, it can be very strong, I think. Oh, nice. Item grab bag is a support item, so that's the best one here. Loki Tiny Titans is kind of good, but I think I need to take combat power, right? Come closer. Okay, that's about it. We need a Sivir. We need a Sivir and we're back. We didn't get the Story Weaver emblem. If there is a spatula on carousel, I will take it. It's very important. A story Viewer Emblem would be nice. You should only play this comp with Story Viewer Emblem. This guy is not rerolling Zoe, right? There's no way, man. I haven't seen a Zoe reroll player in 20 games, 30 games, 40 games, maybe. 40 games, probably. Yeah. Yep. GG. We kill the Shen? No, we can't. That's great. Oh, so now what, man? I'm gonna get two support items from this. Which is already quite good, right? That's quite good. It's really not right? bad. We get some Sage action. That's not too bad either. Don't we want Bruiser instead of this worthless thing? Right 
Okay, we pre-level here, and then we just slow roll 50 at level 7. Uh, one guy is contesting some Zoe's, but it's not that many. It should be okay. It should be okay, guys. Special out would be nice. I get one gold from sharing his caring. Thank you, sir. I'll take it, boy. We get our support item. I'm gonna pop it after the carousel. I'm not sure if it's gonna get bugged if we teleport away to the carousel. Then just don't wanna risk it. I can open it after. There's a Rabadons. There is no Story Reaver emblem. I'm just gonna grab the Rabadons. It's a four cost as well, so that's good. We get some money. So that's just great. We get this item. We're, go we're gonna get the next item next turn. Uh, we have zero health left. It's pretty bad. 41 health. It's not in it's not a good it's not a good um position to be in. But it is what it is, right? We'll see. Maybe we can get out of it. Like a baby guys. You swam in? We get a little bit lucky and you know we're back. Ah, or we just get extremely unlucky, and then we just lose. Straight up lose the game. That was, uh, that was a really bad support item. I didn't get Aegis. Now what, guys? I don't know. It is a problem. I think we're dead, because we only have one Zoe as well. We didn't find a Zoe ever since. If we don't get an Aegis here, the game's over. We did get an Aegis, at least. But we need two more! We need two more, and ideally now, two Zeke's more. We can just get Giga attack speed, and that's gonna make her ult very often and just kill everything. For the rest of the game, that is very trash, bro. Because for me, my positioning is gonna be very difficult to change. I'm gonna have to switch like 15 units at once, whereas the enemies mostly have to change like one unit to change their carry where it is. And that's really bad for me. So I think with that... It's enough bad luck to make this a Giga that lost. That is very good though. Oh yeah, 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 guys. I mean, this is a solid team. It's just not good enough without the emblem, right? I need the emblem instead of this idiot. The emblem and then I play uh, the Sivir. That's what I need. It's not good enough without this... Um, Without the Story Weaver Emblem, we need seven Story Weaver. That's what, how we need to play. Oh, I forgot Aegis, my bad, sorry. Completely forgot, guys. Three hours sleep diff, my bad. Okay, honestly, I'm down for a good loss, though. I get infinite money. Ah, it's not that bad, bro. It's honestly not that bad. This is an Aegis diff. This is an Aegis diff, we would have won this fight with Aegis, but I uh, hit the five point loss stream. You still want to win there, right? Like, you know, at least we get a good loss. You smell me, guys? I'm so mad, because, you know, there's no reason to find 15 idiots. There's no reason to find three bards in two shops. But zero Zoe's in 10 shops, you know? There's no reason for that, guys. There's really no reason. Look at sad. Give it a buck, guys. Okay. Oh, uh, that is just gonna be... Made into support items, I would assume. Burdens of the past. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? I I need to start Zoe, guys. I I I'm gonna I'm gonna flip, guys. I'm gonna freaking flip. I'm gonna flip. Should we just FF, guys? Like this is just way too much money that I had to invest. 
I think it's not winnable anymore. Not that much money invested. Clear. That was that, that was too much. That was too much. I think the game's over now. Like if I had two stars over and 50 gold left, sure. Maybe we can try to come back. Well, we just burned 20 gold surplus, right? Who's gonna give me those 20 gold back? No one. Nobody, guys. And nobody's gonna do it at all. Okay, I mean, I need I need a story emblem. Otherwise, I think I'll legit FF this game. Sage Crown is not that bad, huh? Uh, Jewel Lotus is good, but I think Sage Crown is better. Baboom is kind of good, man. Baboom Zoe is kind of good. Baboom Zoe. I didn't get a Sage Crown. I mean, I'm almost dead anyway. We can, we can, we can see. Uh, I didn't get a, um, I didn't get a Story View Emblem. Uh, I mean, we're probably dead, but you know, we can try. Might as well. Might as well, guys. <sighs> he has triple Zeke's. Wait, he's a Giga Chat. What the frick is he doing? He just cashed, he just turned all his things into support items. And he's actually winning with it. Huh? Crazy, no? He's just going fast nine. Takes golden egg, goes fast nine. I mean, I get a free win, but still. Is there any way we get. Uh... I mean, I'm getting a support item soon. We're back to 50 gold. Uh, let's do a quick scan. No Zoe's. No Zoe's. Going for three star Yone. This guy is actually going to Zoe reroll. I cannot believe it. I cannot fathom it. I think it's targeted, uh, targeted griefing. Has to be targeted griefing, right? There's no way this guy is an actual human being. Like, he's level 7, 0 gold as well. It has to be targeted griefing, right? Has to be targeted griefing. I think just because of that, I'm not gonna, um, ditch. I'm, I'm not gonna surrender. I'm just gonna let him go dead last as well. You know? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make him go dead last because this comp is not that good. And if I surrender now, he can at least get the three star Zoe. But if I don't surrender, he's gonna go freaking dead last, man. Because he's gonna go dead last or below me. Because uh, he's gonna not be able. I mean, I just go. I just push levels, right? I just push levels, guys. I'll still take a Zoe, man. Freak the Rakan, who cares? He took the Rakan. Ah, who cares, bro? Still gonna take a Zoe, whatever, man. Yeah, whatever. Now I have four Zoe's and he might get... Uh, he might go dead last because he can't three-star Zoe. Uh, okay, so we have the Boom, right? That's pretty good for Zoe. That is pretty good, right? I think she can go pretty crazy with this. Cringe. Very cringe. In darkness, we find ourselves. I think I'm just pushing levels now, man. I'm just trying to reach level 9. For the girl. I would love to have uh, the thing, right? A Diana right now. I would love to have a Diana. I'm just trying to reach level 9 for her, I really, I guess. I think I win this because I'm just stronger than him, right? I'm him, but stronger. Like, this double Zeke's thing is pretty good with my Shoujin. It's actually pretty good. Nice, let's go. Yeah, I just targeted Grief, I think. He's zero gold as well, right? He's zero gold. He's gonna die soon. I'm just gonna push levels, yeah? GG, man. Nice, we got lucky. Oh, what are we supposed to do here? What are we supposed to play here? Morgana, uh, like an altruist, of course, but we don't have that. Never gonna three-star ribbon. Alright, we're just pushing levels. Sure, let's try this. 
with a two-star Zoe. Maybe we can three-star her later after the guy dies, right? We have a lot of Zeeks. Like, Zeeks is not bad. Zeeks and, like, we just want attack speed. Attack speed for more ultimates. Just keep casting. Aegis is better because it gives resistances and attack speed. So it's just really, really insane, right? It doesn't last the entire fight, though. The Zeeks lasts the entire fight. And, of course, has the better functionality to the left and to the right. Instead of, like, you know, griefing your positioning very badly. The Aegis griefs you really badly. You have to position them behind you and stuff. The Baboom Zoe is working, though. Seems very strong. Seems very freaking strong, guys. I'll keep it a stack. Sage, more Sage equals more Juice. We could also play uh, Dragon Lord and this. It's pretty nice. More Sage equals more Omnivamp. We want to play as much Sage as possible, right? Because uh, Sage, like right now it's AP, which is good for us. But late game, when we frontline the Zoe and the Kale, it's going to be uh, Omnivamp. That's going to be really good. Obviously, right? I don't have a 3-star uh, Zyra, so it's really not bad that I just got this. I, mean, I just got infinite money. I think I sack one and then I just level. I roll it down. I roll it down to zero. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I sack one, I roll it down to zero, man. Like what? 28 to level? Yeah, we're chilling. Sack one, roll it the frick down. Absolute zero. Yeah, and then the Aegis is gonna make us tanky enough. I think this is looking good, man. I think this is looking absolutely fine and dandy. Uh, please just, yeah, just win this fight somehow. But it's three star, it's two star, uh, two star Kaisa, right? Two star Kaisa, very strong. Don't think we can win. Sad. Sad. If we don't fight this guy here, we're fine. No Zeeks, uh, no no Aegis, and other Zeeks. Really bad RNG. At least we got the Zeeks, man. If the guy die, he died. Like a freaking idiot. But of course he has to leave us before he dies. If we do not find the lady here, nice. Found the lady. That is extremely juicy, guys. That is extremely juicy, at least. Extremely juicy. Am I playing Morgana or Wukong? Wukong probably, right? Instead of Morgana, if I can. It's just a better unit, right? I just send it to zero. I have no money. We can be heroes. All right, let's go. I have no money. I have no health points. This guy's really strong, unfortunate. We need Aegis. Infinite Aegis, we can actually win the game. The freaking Kale has Baboom as well, guys. The Kale has Baboom. The Kale has freaking Baboom. Remember, I would like to level for more Sage. I think that would be the best case, but I feel like that's a little bit too tall of a ask, right? To level up here. Really on this carousel. I have to go for one of these items, right? But, but, like, don't I just take Bloodthirster on Wukong? And I just try to two-star Wukong and call it a day? Seems pretty okay to me, no? Like, I, I don't think I can delete this item now, because I, it's just gonna take two, three turns. Uh, three, in three turns, the game is almost over. So we just gotta get as strong as possible. And Bloodthirster and Wukong is absolutely fine. No Aegis. No Aegis, guys. No Aegis. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting, guys. We don't have Magic Pen, though. So 
this is okay. I could go this on her. And she can like 1v9 at the end. It's really not bad. She can try to 1v9 at the end of the fight. Leveling up to play more Sage is the only thing I can really do here to get stronger. This guy is playing Teemo as a carry, but he's playing also this thing. It's freaking Zaya and Kai'Sa dual carry, so... But he has a Radiant item on Teemo. Also, I'm pretty sure he got it from a cash out. So does it even matter? I think he just wins, no? It's a Bloodthirster Diff, guys. Let's go! Does that give us a top 4? It might. Sure looks like it. Let's go! Top 4? Good enough. Again, just target griefed by the Zoe guy. Not much you can do. 3 star Zoe would be quite strong here. But also, I just didn't find any of them. It's just cringe. Okay, I mean, this Kale is going crazy. Like, if I can somehow get another Aegis, but I really can't, right? <laughs> that is unfortunately over. Remember, they're getting Omnibam. It's only 10 per uh, 12%, but it's not bad. I would love to level, right? Leveling here. Yeah. We have Omnivamp against the Crab. Hopefully I survive this so I can fight the Crab. I want to see if I can beat the Crab. This guy is very weak. I should easily be able to. He has 6 Ghostly, but I don't really have like one big tank that... Yeah. If I can fight the Crab, I'll get a lot of money. If we beat Crab Rave with this, which I think we can... We have Armor and Magic Pen now. With the thingy. I think we can do it, man. Bro, I feel like we can do it. And then we get two items. Again, we'll just have to use those items. we we'll just have to use those items. A good item on Irelion. Or a good tank items. Double tank item, probably the best. Just get two tank items here. Uh, if I get like double duplicator, double small duplicator or something, I don't even know if that's possible. But just in case, that could be possible. If that is, uh, I would just go for 3 star Zoe, but that's the only way we still go for 3 star Zoe. Everything else is just impossible. We just go level 9, and uh, level 10 I mean, to play more um, more thingies. But I don't know if I can beat the crab, right? The Kale does a lot of damage though, lots of single target damage. But it's gonna die eventually. If the Kale can ult one more time, we win. Wow, it, it's just like, I'm pretty sure I'm the first one to kill it, I am. I am the first one to kill it. Cool, no? Sell the Zoe here as well. We have our time to take our items. Easy peasy. Uh, we have the magic pen. Nasher's tooth is meh. QSS is meh. Titans is okay, honestly. Like Titans on Wukong. But Titans on Wukong is so awkward. Titans on Irelia is also very awkward. It's probably just Nasher's tooth and I can reforge it if I don't get anything better here. And I didn't get anything better. Um, leveling is gonna be this soon, and then we can play this and pray, yeah. The pray, we're gonna reforge this. Now, we got a Morello, which, you know what, is probably the best thing I can get. I don't have heal reduction. Let's just pray we win this fight somehow. Let's just freaking pray. Just survive this fight and I'm back. He has one star Zaya. Let's hope it's enough to win somehow. I'm getting freaking killed on my tail, though. Kale is getting killed. Not enough lifesteal yet. But the Zoe is doing a lot of damage. If she ults again, nice. That's a win. That's a win. Let's go. We get more Sage, which is huge, guys. We're gonna go to 20% Omnibam. On the Kale and the Zoe. That is amazing. That really is a huge difference. Oh, but we don't have enough uh, uh, money yet, right? We do not have enough money yet, guys. That is just so disappointing. Oh no, we have exactly enough money. Am I stupid? Am I dumb, guys? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yes, I am. Based, though, right? Isn't it kind of based that I'm dumb? Like, isn't it kind of funny that I'm dumb? Like, if I wasn't dumb, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be bad? Like, imagine I wasn't dumb, right? Like, it would be so boring if I wasn't dumb. I put the Galio in front of the Nar. Good play. Good play, guys. Good play. Nar is gonna get attacked by Kale very, very fast. And that's gonna do, see? Then Kale heals back to full and just gets one shot. Kale got one shot by Senna. I mean, that's not really my fault, right? Yeah, this guy's too strong. The Kale got one shot by Senna. I don't even know how that's possible. I think that's bugged. <laughs> I feel like it's bugged, low key. I 
feel like it's bugged. No? Why did you position Kale there? Very obviously, very obviously, she's healing back to full with every single ult she shoots. Omnivamp on Sage. No offense, if you're genuinely just asking why I'm putting Kale in the front, that is why. If you're asking why I'm putting Kale in front of Nar, um, it's because she, I want her to focus the Nar. If you're asking why I'm putting Kale to get one shot by Senna like that, is then I just want to say congratulations, brother man. If you predicted that, you are literally the best player in the world, and you will win a couple hundred thousand in the next world championship. And I'm gonna be cheering you on, man, because if you if you know that a Ginsu's Hodge Last Whisper Senna will one shot my Kale there. Then you're a freaking genius, man. I don't know what to say. You're the, you're the best player ever. Anyway, guys, I think we'll still make this a video because we got target griefed by this idiot, right? Again, I haven't seen uh, Zoe in 50 games. I haven't seen anyone play Zoe 3 star uh, or try to get to Zoe 3 star. It's not an S tier comp by any means. It's probably like a B tier comp. So people usually shy away from that. I thought I had a good position in it. I did have a good position because we got third while getting griefed, right? Um, so yeah, still a decent game, guys. If we fought him again, I think we could have maybe edged out a second. If I just get a little bit stronger, you know, like a two-star uh, monkey or something would do it. Uh, but we'll take it, guys. That was a fun one. Subscribe and the bell if you enjoyed these CFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time. Peace.